Hello guys and welcome to another one with me, Eldrin from Logzilla Mirror. Today I'd like to do a tutorial on a new plugin that I just recently released today, uh, the 24th of September, called Lumiere Bone Transfer. So uh, a question I get a lot uh, in my comments on the videos is how do you keep the character's clothes attached to the character? And so um, we've seen in Lumiere Rig Tools that it has the capability of transferring disparate rig systems from one rig to another. So you could have something called torso here for the hips and you could have something, have something called hips crucial here for the hips here. And they're two totally different names and when you go to tools and you do a weight transfer, it'll go ahead and transfer the weights from one to the other. And so you technically could use that here, of course, to uh, do some of the weighting. But um, it tends to, because you have to drag uh, the templates in and set the templates up and stuff like that, um, it could be a little bit tedious after a while, especially uh, when Dad's char or when yeah Dad's characters are pretty much uh, there's a defined kind of sort of template for them, and they're just they're really simple. You could um, obviously constrain uh, the bones from one. Uh, skeletal hierarchy to another and that will work too or you use the technique that I was talking about in one of my previous uh, introduction to dad's tutorials uh, where you use the weights manager but that's also a little bit complex and convoluted as well so I created a simple plugin called uh, Lumiere Bone Transfer uh, and it has a very very simple interface and uh, what it requires is it requires a null with a bone hierarchy uh, to set as a source and a null with a bone hierarchy to set as a target. Then you hit execute and it transfers the uh, weights from one to the other. And this works specifically for Genesis characters. Um, I'm working on uh, a few updates. Uh, I'm still doing research into Genesis 2 and Genesis 3 right now uh, as to the differences in the bone aiming systems and then I'll incorporate those changes into bone transfer over uh, the next week or so. Alrighty. So what do I mean by null? Well, first of all, uh, this scene is just the FBX imported uh, for Testa from her original DAZ uh, FBX. Um, all I've done is I've imported in the uh, Arnold materials that we designed for the uh, uh, for her Arnold version, and just I've just applied them to the character just by dragging and dropping basically, and then I've replaced UV maps where I had to replace them. All right. So um, the hierarchy is all messed up and nasty here and everything is all over the place, obviously. So we're going to want to clean this up, of course. And with Lumiere Bone Transfer and a few tweaks, we can get this under control. All right. But just to show you what I mean by uh, the characters not clothes not following, we go ahead and grab uh, our Genesis shape here. We go ahead and grab the rig that's related to that, which would be these hips here underneath the, the Genesis bone. Um, and we go ahead and move the hips around. We'll see that the clothes and the hair and all the objects that we attached in Daz are just not following. And that's because each of these objects has their own separate bone system with their own separate weight tags. And so they have no idea of what's going on with this bone system and its weight tag. And so we need to transfer that data over somehow. Alrighty, so what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and create a null and we actually want to create a couple of these. So we're going to go ahead and name that to rig. And then I'm just going to go ahead and control drag, create a couple of duplicates of this. We basically need one of these for each hierarchy that we're working with here. So starting with, uh, of course, Testa 2 herself, we can go ahead and drag out her hips um, separately. And we can go ahead and actually put them into our rig null. And now, this hierarchy of bones is basically under a parent and it'll work really nicely with bone transfer. Um, create another null, of course, and we call that test two. And this is all basic stuff that I've done in previous tutorials. Just getting everything organized and getting our rig nicely uh, organized, of course. And this is important also for Lumiere rig tools, of course, because it uses the, uh, the root null as the uh, place to put all the espresso tags and different things as well. So this is just a good workflow in general to organize your scenes up. 
we can take uh, this next rig, of course, and we've got the PH Catwalk, uh, which is this hair system that we uh, got from Daz. Go ahead and drag the rig in there and then drag the hips underneath that. Now this hierarchy is good. All right. And then for the top, we can go ahead and drag the rig in there. Let's go ahead and rename it to rig. And let's go ahead and drag the hips in there. And now the top is good. All righty. And so we're moving through here. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, heeled shoes. And let's go ahead and drop the rig in there, rename it to rig. And let's drop the heeled shoes hips in there. All right, and then all we've got now is just the skirt, so we created just enough nulls to go ahead and have all of these have a nice hierarchy system here. And all right. And that also gets rid of that nasty big bone that sticks up between the legs that I, I hate so much. All right, cool. And so now, Testa 2, we can drag her all the way to the bottom of the scene, and she's nicely set up. And then, of course, we want to take her Genesis shape as well. Drag that in here. And she's nicely good. We can go ahead and rename her, of course. This is all pet peeve stuff, but, you know, organization is king, especially in complex projects. And we can go ahead and hit save on this. All right, so now that we've got everything organized, let's go ahead and use the Lumiere bone transfer to go ahead and transfer weights. So starting with the hair here, we're going to go ahead and run the tool and that's going to load up and what we need to do is click on the uh, hair meshes rig hierarchy uh, master null and hit set source and behind the scenes what it does is it'll go through and it'll look at all the bones under here and uh, it'll look if the naming convention match uh, genesis basically and it'll go ahead and set up um, that to be ready to transfer from. Now we need to select the mesh that we want to transfer to and that's going to be tested to so we're going to grab her hierarchy and we're going to go ahead and set target and now it's source and the target are set all we have to do is just hit execute and uh, what happens behind the scenes is it goes ahead and it uh, transfers those weights from one to the other and what it does is it creates a weight transfer mesh for you here now this mesh and its weights are all associated to Testa 2's rig and her bones. And so if we go ahead and drag this mesh now underneath Testa 2's hierarchy, and we go ahead and we can now delete the uh, PH Catwalk character or uh, mesh and hierarchy. And so if we were to go ahead and move the neck around, say Control S to go ahead and save. And so now if we move the neck around, the hair won't follow. And the reason for that is um, the weights hold the definition of what vertice, vertices need to move with the mesh, but we also need to deform them. We need a deformer in order to actually read that information from the weights tag. And so if we go to character, hold shift, and we drag down the skin and then let go of our mouse. It's going to go ahead and add that skin deformer as a child of PH Catwalk weights transfer. And so now if we go into our neck again and we move, the hair follows. Excellent. So the body and the hair are now weighted together. Lovely. All right, and in fact, we can really emphasize this by going ahead and moving our hips around. We'll see that the hair follows, but the rest of the clothes don't. So what we can do is we can go ahead and close Lumiere Bone Transfer. I just like to do that just to clear out everything and make sure that there's nothing, uh, no extra weights from some other area kind of sort of lurking in the uh, plugin's memory. And then we'll go ahead and reopen it, and we'll go ahead and do our next object. So that's going to be the top. So we're going to select its rig and go ahead and hit set source and the source is set. Go back to Testa 2 again and set the target and execute. And now it's done and then we can close it and we can open it again. And okay we've already done the top so let's move on to the shoes. Let's grab the rig. 
set. Let's grab the test a two rig, set as the target, and execute. And now that's created. Let's go one more time. And uh, see, we've done the top and the heeled shoes. Let's go ahead and grab the skirt. It's rig, set, and let's grab test the two again, set the target, and execute. And now the skirt is set. And let's go ahead and start deleting some stuff here. Uh, do, 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 do. So, go ahead and grab the top and delete it. Go ahead and grab the heel, choose, delete. Go ahead and grab the skirt and delete. And um, what are we left with here? I believe we might be done. Let's go ahead and drag these three in here underneath the test of two hierarchy. And so everything is nice. Let's go ahead and give them all skin deformers. So hold shift, go into character, drag down to the skin, hold shift, go to character, drag down to the skin, and shift, drag down to skin. And there we go. So they all have skin deformers now. And so if we go to the hips again and go ahead and move, everything is nicely attached. And so there you go. Alrighty. So we shift double click on the weights tag, and then we go ahead and display all joints. You know, we can see our weights for our mesh, of course, and our mesh was already good. But uh, we go to the skirt, we can see how all the weights are nicely transferred. Everything that Daz sent out is there. Same thing for the heeled shoes. Click on that. There's all our weights. And if we go for the top, there's all our weights. And uh, if we move, say, the chest, you know, the shirt is following like a dream. Excellent. Same thing for the skirt. We go ahead and grab, say, the thigh and move it. Both the skirt and the shoes move really nicely. Excellent. And uh, so that's it for that, guys. So that's the uh, bone transfer in a nutshell. Um, I've also released a update to the uh, Lumiere uh, layouts. So uh, they were 1.0, now they're 1.1, um, and they include a lot of layouts for, uh, for uh, R17. So um, they take advantage of the take system, for instance. Um, I've done a few tweaks as far as adding a few extra plug and third-party plugins in there. If you have those plugins, they'll automatically pop up here in this uh, palette here. Otherwise, you can add your own to this palette here as well. Uh, using a tutorial that I did on C4D layouts. And, um, you know, I've just done a few tweaks all around. There's also a really nice dual layout in there now. So if I switch to my dual layout, you know, it's really expansive. Um, gives you a full timeline down here. You got your takes layout and coordinates over here really nicely. And then on your second monitor, if I drag that over, you've got a really, really nice attributes manager here. Uh, huge space for your materials, nice Arnold Network Editor here, and of course the Arnold IPR here. Um, so it's just to quickly get you going. You don't have to create your own temp uh, your own layouts. You can just quickly use my own mine. Uh, they worked really well for me on a couple of projects that I've done thus far. Um, and that's it. Uh, see you guys in the next one.